key to the apocalypse the seven interpretations of divine prophecy by henry grattan guinness the back cover has a biography of the author that reads henry grattan guinness 1835 to 1910 was an irish protestant christian preacher evangelist and author he started harley college also known as the East London Missionary Training School. A traveling preacher, he drew thousands to hear him during the Ulster Revival of 1859. Reverend Guinness trained and sent hundreds of faith missionaries all over the world. From Wikipedia. Preface. While complete in itself as a key to the apocalypse, this work is intended to be introductory to a short series of simple expositions of that great prophecy based on divinely given interpretations of its meaning. It is an unquestionable fact that the intimately related prophecies of Daniel and John contain seven divinely given interpretations, and it is evident that these must constitute the only infallible basis of exposition and building on them, as we state in chapter 3, we build not on the shifting sands of human opinion, but on the stable rock of revealed truth. Without such a foundation, no interpretation of Daniel and the apocalypse can be secure and trustworthy as resting upon divine authority, but can only stand on begged principles and mere human conjectures. The basis on which we build is divine interpretation. The plan of this book is as follows. After a brief introduction, the seven divine interpretations are set forth in chapter 3. In chapter 4, the historical fulfillment of the seventh and last of these. And in chapter 5, we use this last interpreted and marvelously fulfilled vision, that in Revelation 17, as a key to open the remaining visions in the Apocalypse. For such is the connection of the various visions in the book that the opening of its sensual vision is a manifest clue to the meaning of the whole. Page 103. May the divine spirit who searches all things, yea, the deep things of God, enlighten us to understand these sublime and sacred prophecies and sanctify us through the knowledge of the truth.